So you're you're it's called having a doctorate in psychology. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Okay. So you're a psychologist. You also said you are a teacher. Mm-hmm. Can you say anything about that? Yeah. So like you teach psychology for like college students. I do. How's that? So uh, I started in grad school. Um, teaching a forensic psychology course at Colorado State University. And so ever since I left Colorado State, I've been teaching that course um, every fall, spring, and summer as a forensic psych course online. And for the last two years, maybe a little bit longer now, almost three, I've been teaching at Cal Poly. I've been teaching the same forensic psychology course in person at Cal Poly. Um, And just recently, I've picked up a graduate course um, at Cal Poly in their master's Um, program and then what made me like I meet people right like that kind of sounds douchey to say like oh like I meet people no you meet way more people than I do but like meeting people for like anybody out there like something that piqued my interest like right when I met you you were like you know small talk yada 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 like you like you pretty much like you i don't know if you said or like i said but like you have three jobs when i heard that i definitely was like dang like i need uh, to like get this person to come on the podcast sometime um that's like like when someone has three jobs there's much more going on like it's it's like a it's dope to hear that with my ears because usually like the people that I know that have at least two jobs, three job area, mm-hmm. they're you like they're grinders, they're hustlers, yeah. they're making money. Um, like for example, this uh, this one guy, shout out uh, Jay Riley, but he, I interviewed this one guy um, maybe like a month ago or something, and he was like, yeah, like. I wanted this $500 mic because he like records uh, music and whatnot. And then he was just like, I didn't let that money come out of like the main job that I work Monday through Friday. He like picked up some Uber shifts and like paid for a $500 microphone just like doing like a side hustle. So like he like, that's like having two to three jobs type things. Like what, why do you want to be a psychologist, work at um, at the hospital as doing the forensic... Forensic um, psych, yeah. Forensic? Floor. Foreign. Forensic. Forensic yeah. uh, studies and, like, be a teacher at the same time. Like, you're literally working three different things. How do you have time to do you? How do you have time to, like, live your life? And, yeah. like, like, I'm assuming... I mean, you've, like... I feel like you're busy, right? Yeah. Like, what do you... How how's that go? <laughs> like, explain that whole thing. Um, well, it's funny because I actually have the fourth position, which is private practice. Um, so I've got my job at the state hospital, but then I still have private practice where I see clients um, on my day off at the hospital. But it takes very good organization, that's for sure. Um, but I think I just, I love what I do. And I think that being passionate about it and that each one of the things I'm doing challenges me in a different way makes it a lot easier to get through the times where I'm exhausted or it feels like a grind. Um, Because in the back of my head, I know that I'm super fortunate to even have the positions that I have Um, and to be able to enjoy, you know, after a day of work at the hospital to go to a campus and teach college students about a subject that I love is pretty awesome. Um, So no matter how tired I am, I just get re-energized during that time. Um, And I don't know if that would be the case um, if I was teaching something that I didn't love um, or if I was doing a bunch of things I wasn't passionate about. So I think for me, that's it. One of the biggest pieces of just continuing to grind and, and is that I really enjoy it. Are you working six days a week seven days a week five days a week depends Doubles depends on the on week days. yeah okay yeah things definitely overlap um most weeks I, I at least work five sometimes work on the weekends um there are some weeks where i i don't time manage well and end up working all seven days Damn. um but i definitely make sure to take vacations um i'll usually set a goal off of like really wanting to travel somewhere and so i'll set a chunk of time 
and that keeps me motivated to really work hard and stay up to date on things because I know I get to go take a week off and go um, to Hawaii or go somewhere really cool and just explore and not have to think about anything. I definitely feel I'm like 1000% brainwashed by money, like making money, like to me, like for me, and it's shitty to say, like that's such a materialistic thing to say. And like, like having the goal of like making money, like just being in the rat race at the end of the day, like that's, that's shitty. You know what I mean? Like you, for you, you, you're really not in it for the money. Like you, you literally like, instead of doing your three to four things, why don't you just do one or two? That's or do you question. also enjoy making that extra additional income? Definitely enjoy making that additional okay. income. Can't I can't even pretend that that's not part of it. Um, I think there always has been a piece of me that's always, especially as a female, really strive to be financially independent. Um, especially coming from the Midwest and seeing some of the culture (laughs) um, of really just wanting to be like, I don't, I don't need anybody else to support me. I can support myself and I can be independent. Um, I can buy my own house. I can buy my own car. And so I think that that's always really pushed me to make sure if I'm doing something and it's taking up a lot of my time, that it's financially worth my time. So, um, that has always sort of been a drive that's there as well. And of course I like, once you start to get financial independence, it's really, really nice. It's really, really nice to um, be able to take a vacation and not stress about, you know, having to do the cheapest version of the vacation. Um, And living in California is really expensive. So there's that piece too of just even affording to survive out here requires quite a bit of money. You do you own a house? I do. You have to pay property tax, yeah, which is hella expensive, it's like super so expensive. insane. Yeah, 